okay the t shaped cross section of a beam as shown in figure is subjected to vertical shear force of 100 kN calculate the shear force at important point and draw the shear stress distribution diagram first of moment of inertia about the horizontal neutral axis is 113.4 mm raised to 4 okay so first of all draw the uh, given data write down the given data the shear force it is s is equal to it is given s is equal to 100 kilo newton s is equal to 100 kilo newton so convert it is in newton 100 into 10 raised to the power 3 in newton in newton then second moment of inertia is given it is also i is equal to it is 113.4 into 10 raised to the power 3 10 raised to the power 3 mm raised to 4 mm raised to 4 okay. then first of all calculate the cj of this section okay means we need to neutral axis for that so y bar is equal to so divide this section into two parts one it is flange and second one it is so y bar is equal to so from it will be get bottom side y bar is equal to a1 y1 a1 y1 plus plus a2 y2 plus a2 y2 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 divided by a1 plus a2 divided by a1 plus a2 a2 is equal to is equal to a1 it is 200 into so first we consider wave it is first part okay so this wave it is first part and flange it is second part flange it is second part okay so a1 it will be area of wave it is 50 into 50 into 50 into 200 200 into y1 y1 it will be so this one y1 so we'll draw the x-axis okay so y1 it will be 200 divided by 2 200 divided by 2 200 divided by 2 it will be 100 into plus plus a2 y2 plus a2 y2 so it, it is 200 into 200 into 50 into y2 y2 it will be 200 plus 50 by 2 200 plus 50 by 2 it will be y2 it will be 200 plus 50 by 2 it will be 225 225 okay divided by a1 plus a2 divided by a1 plus a2 that is 50 into 200 50 into 200 plus plus 200 into 50 200 into 50 it will be get y bar y b from this y b is equal to is equal to calculate 50 into 200 into 100 plus plus 200 into 50 into 225 divided by 50 into 200 plus 200 into 50 okay it will be get y b bar it equal to 162.5 mm 162.5 that will be get from the bottom side okay so so the distance it will be 162.5 okay so this one it is 162.5 162.5 okay so yt from top it will be from top overall depth it will be 250 mm 250 minus 250 minus 162.5 162.5 162.5 162.5 okay so 250 minus 162.5 it will be 87.5 87.5 mm 87.5 mm okay so this distance it will be 87.5 so this distance it will be 87.5 so this distance it will be 87.5 mm 87.5 mm okay so we are calculated y10 yb bar okay so now now 
So this one it is 87.5, 87.5, and this one it will be 250 minus 87.5. So this one it is 162.5, 162.5. Okay. So now, now calculate shear stress. Okay. Shear stress at junction junction between 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 plane and wave a junction data shear stress at junction junction between 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 plane and wave between plane and wave wave by considering by considering by considering width by considering width b is equal to 200 mm b is equal to 200 mm okay so now q is equal to q is equal to that is q1 is equal to q1 is equal to sa y bar divided by ib sa into sa into y bar sa into y bar divided by ib divided by ib divided by ib i into b okay. so shear force it will be here shear force it is 100 into 10 raised to the power 3 into area it will be 200 into 50 200 into 50 into y bar y bar it will be taken from the so this distance okay so up to this divided by 50 by 2 okay so 50 minus so this one it is 87 minus 50 this distance it is 37.5 37.5 plus 50 by 2 37 plus 5 plus 50 by 2 so 37.5 plus 50 by 2 it will be 25 it will be 62.5 so this distance it is 62.5 okay i will explain once again how will we get y bar this one so 37 plus i will write down separate here y bar is equal to I bar is equal to 37.5 37.5 plus 50 by 2 plus 50 by 2 so it will be 62.5 62.5 okay divided by divided by i it will be 113.4 into 10 raised to power 6 113.4 into 10 raised to the power 6 into b it is width it is 200 mm 200 mm okay it will be get q1 value from this okay q1 value so q1 is equal to q1 is equal to q1 is equal to 100 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 200 into 50 into 62.5 divided by divided by 113.4 into 10 raised to the power 6 into 200 200 so it will be 2.75 2.75 newton per mm square that is mpa okay so now shear stress at junction so right on here q1 is equal to we will note down here q1 is equal to it is 2.75 2.75 mpa okay now shear stress at junction Second, shear stress, shear stress at junction, at junction between, between, between flange and wave, flange and wave, flange and wave, 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 by considering, by considering 
by considering B is equal to it will be B is equal to 50 mm, 50 mm. Okay. So Q2 is equal to write on Q2 is equal to Q2 is equal to F2.75, 2.75. So put all, all these values same, only we change the width here. Okay. We changing the width here means 200 we are removing from this first Q1 equation and we're adding, we're putting B is equal to here. 50 m okay 50 m okay so is equal to q2 is equal to q2 is equal to 2.75 into 400 divided by 50 it will be l1 mp l1 mp so q2 is equal to write on here we'll put q2 is equal to l1 mp mp okay. l1 m so now now this value is 37.5. Okay. 37.5. Okay. So now Q additional. Q additional is equal to is equal to here also for equation it will be S into A into Y bar. Only we are changing the value Y bar and Y bar and B value and area. Okay. So yes, it will be same for that. Okay. I into B. I into B. Okay. So here, put all this value. So area it will be which area? Q additional means we are considering this area. Okay. We are considering this hatch portion. Okay. This portion. Okay. This portion we are considering. So area of this hatch portion it will be width it will be 50 mm and height will be 37.5. 37.5. 50 into 50 into 37.5. It will be 1875. 1875mm square. Okay. 1875mm square. Then next find out the y bar. So y bar is equal to y bar is equal to for that. Y bar is equal to so it will be 37.5 divided by 2. Let's take from the neutral axis. Okay. So this one it will be neutral axis. We are taking from the neutral axis. So it will be 37.5 divided by 2. 37.5 divided by 2 is equal to 37.5 divided by 2. That will be 18.75. 18.75 18 mm. mm. Okay. So put all this value here. So Q additional is equal to Q Q additional is equal to so yes it is hundred into ten to the power three hundred into ten to the power three area it will be one eight seven five one eight seven five into into Y bar it will be eighteen point seven five eighteen point seven five divided by divided by i it is 113.4 113.4 into 10 raised to the power 6 10 raised to the power 6 into width it will be for that 50 mm 50 mm so it will get q additional from this relation q additional it will be 100 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 1875 into 18.75 divided by 113.4 into 10 raised to the power 6 into 50. So Q additional it will be 0 0.620. So once again, I will calculate 100 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 1875 into 18.75 divided by 113.4 into 10 raised to the power 6 into 50. It will be 0 0.620. Zero, point 620 MP. Q2 plus Q additional. Q2 plus Q additional. Okay. So Q2 it will be how much? Q2 it will be L1 plus L1 plus L1 plus 0.62. 0.62. So it will be L1.62. 
11.62 mk. So this is his q max value. Q max value. Okay. So this value could be q max equal to 11.62. Q max is equal to 11.62 mk. So random here. Q max is equal to to max is equal to L1.62 MP, 62 MP, MP. Q max is equal to Q2 plus Q additional. So this Q2 plus only Q additional. Okay, up to here it will be L1. Okay. So Q max is equal to Q2 plus. So this one it is shear, shear stretch distribution diagram for the T section. Okay. For the T section. 